Good afternoon, everyone. When I met uh, Mr. Arvind, who came to invite me to TED, I was discussing about me with him. Then he really got impressed and asked me, what is the X factor which drives me? I thought and thought and thought, but I really could not find what is that X factor. But I got few things which drove me all these years. When I think about life, what is the end thing we want in life? Happiness? And how do we get this happiness? Is it money? Status? Power? Or what? If it is money, all the richest guys, richest people in this world, are, are they happy? If it is power, all the politicians, are they happy in life? No, I don't agree. It is attitude, the positive attitude. And how do we get this attitude? Do we get this to buy somewhere in a supermarket or somewhere in a mall? No, it is within us, it is here. We have to get it out, it's a practice. Did you ever observe a small kid falling? Every, any mother would try to come and you know divert her, divert the kid and convince her nothing happened. But the moment we ask, we, we pamper the kid what happened, they start crying. You know that means it's all here. Even the kid gets hurt also. She'll stop crying. It's all here. We always have two options in life. Whether to sit back and cry for things or go ahead in life. Accidents, births, deaths, they're not in our hands. But whatever is there in our hands, we always can shape up in a better way. But what happens, we always look up to something else. If you see a small school going kid, he always look up to college going. Will he be happy once he come back to college? No. Then he look up to somebody who has got a cool job. Will he be happy coming, getting a job? No. When he have job, he want a good girlfriend in his life. Will he be happy getting a girlfriend? No. Then he wanted to get married, kids, what not. Even at the end of the life, he'll have a condition. He wanted to see his grandchildren getting married or, you know, grandchildren going to the school and see and die. We always live with the conditions. We forget, in this process we forget today, worrying about the past and fear about future. I wanted to share how attitude changed my life. I met with an accident which left me quadriplegic at the age of 20 years. A girl, when, when, when my life was happening, I was a girl with lot of dreams. I was passionate. I was adventurous. I was, I was always looking for some, some uniqueness in me. I was so passionate about dancing, you know. I wanted to be independent. For a girl like me, 
Quadriplegia is a word which I heard for the first time in my life when I met with an accident. The, that left me immobile. It, I, I became like a vegetable completely. I lost power from my body, from lower body of, from here onwards. I don't have sensation. I don't even feel if anybody touches me here. I don't even feel that my lower body is there. You know, for every single thing, I have to depend on somebody else. From the water to, you know, even if I wanted to turn to the other side. Nights became very long for me, like, you know, if every time I wanted to turn, I have to wake up somebody and, you know, then they have to come turn me. It was like, you know, rebirth. For my mom, I was another child. It was like learning to crawl again, brush, shower, eat, everything. You know how it feels a 20 plus girl to wear nappies again? It was like another life again, but I never gave up. And you know, infection, being on the bed, infections, bed sores, these are added friends in my life. You know, a lot of people are not aware of bed sores. Bed sores are such a serious problem which can lead to death. You all must have heard about Christopher Reeve, the Superman. We know about, I mean, he is the one who, who introduced Superman to us. He met with the same accident like, like me. He was the richest person in an advanced country. But he wanted to die after his accident. But his, some of his wife convinced him to live, then he survived, I mean he suffered on the bed for nine years and he died with bed sores. But attitude, you know, we it's very rare to see a 10 years, 15 years quadriplegics, paraplegics alive. Recently, one, even one movie released, you, you, must, you all must have heard uh, Guzarish movie. Hrithik Roshan acted in that. It's the same story like me. A quadriplegic, he wanted to die in 14 years. But I say, physical disability is nothing unless until it hits here. My attitude today not only kept me alive, today I am independent. I am like anybody else. From 10 years on the bed to couch, becoming a, a host for a glamorous TV show. Not only that, I run a textile business. Not just a textile business, I am also a trader into stock market. I also run a, an NGO called Shraddha. I wanted to share with you all how the Shraddha started. When I met with an accident, it was very, very difficult, you know, how to go about the treatment, how to deal with the life, how to deal myself being on the bed, 
you know, how to deal with the bed sores, with the infections. You know, there is very, very less awareness about this. There is no treatment at all to walk. But definitely there is a way to live better life. Even I have seen, you know, a general physician, a doctor, had no awareness how, how to deal with this kind of life. I, I met a lot of physicians, doctors, who are not aware of what is quadriplegia. I learned everything in these 10 years on my own body, with my own experiences, with my own problems. There's a saying, right? An experienced patient is better than a doctor. So I thought, why not? I spread this awareness to other paraplegics, other quadriplegics. Because, you know, I have seen, when I used to practice my physiotherapy in NIMS here in Hyderabad, I have seen even just one year, two years, paraplegics and quadriplegics, they are in very bad shape, you know, lots, big, big bed sores on their body, lots of infections, you know, their life becomes like a checker view, you know, there is no way out for them. I feel then, you know, when I am living a very normal life, at times, you know, I forget that I cannot walk. My people, my family, they almost forgot that I cannot walk. They, they deal with me, they behave with me very normal. I thought, you know, why not? A pa why, why a paraplegic born to four walls? They should come out. So I started this <coughs> awareness. I counseled many, many people. I think I started counseling paraplegics and quadriplegics, but I ended up counseling a lot of normal people. It shows that, you know, Physical disability is nothing, it is all here, it's the attitude. Part of Shraddha, I even uh, run an orphanage which has 15 kids. We adopted them, we take care of their education, their stay, food, everything. If you talk about attitude, you know, I think my mother is more worth to speak on TED than me. Because I met with an accident, I am suffering, there is no way out, so I am doing it. But she is suffering my accident. But she never had complaints about life. Today, she is 70 plus. She cooks for those 15 kids. She takes care of the orphanage. I have seen her a couple of years back. It was very difficult for her to, you know, sit and get up from a chair or... if She cannot sit on the floor. She had knee pains. You know, 60 plus, everybody have these kind of problems. But now, she is cooking for 15 people at the age of 70. It's all attitude. There's a saying, every failure is a step to success, which is very, very true in my life. My accident took me 100, 100 steps ahead in my life. You know, when uh, Ted invited me, they said, you know, I have to speak for 15 minutes. This 
generally this quadriplegic pa paraplegics have this breath problem giddiness problem and you know a lot of pain on the body i said i cannot speak for 15 minutes so i made a presentation with lots of videos in it you know to take a break in between but just before coming here i said why should i take a break i told my guy to remove all my videos from the presentation i said i will talk this is the attitude even when my show happened a person who cannot sit for 10 minutes who cannot continuously talk for 10 minutes when they offered me a chat show i said how can i do it and when my see when my boss the tv show explained me the con the concept of uh, the tv show i said how is it possible when i cannot sit for 10 15 minutes how can i shoot for this which takes 10 hours sometimes it used to take 12 hours a day you know wearing that makeup big big lights and lots of pain on my body but you know the when the camera switches on everything used to vanish and i used to smile that is what is attitude i call life is like water you know it takes a shape whatever we put it in today what all i spoke i think they all are very very basic things you all must have heard from your elders you know known from uh, childhood from books everywhere nothing new what i spoke today but the thing is we don't implement so start implementing it make your life beautiful thank you so much to learn from thank you so much